Erev Tov Charim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we have some very, very breaking and disturbing news uh, that was uh, just uh, revealed to me by Brother Kellen uh, Davison, and Brother Kellen uh, shared with me. Now, I say breaking news. This was actually news that did come out a few weeks back. I was brought to my attention on a satire website that we were a little bit skeptical about reporting about that Pope Francis was actually changing the Ten Commandments. And, uh, and, and yes, uh, he did do it. We do have that confirmation. We would not publicize this at first uh, because we were a little concerned with the website that this was produced on. Uh, but Brother Kellen has actually given me an article here uh, from the actual Vatican website. Uh, those of you that are catching this at the last minute, I felt it very important to bring this out right away to you uh, so that you can see this for yourselves. And uh, I'm, as well, I'm trying to uh, uh, get for you a, an, another uh, scriptural backing here um, that I think is very imp uh, important as well. And um, so just bear with me just one moment here, but I, I wanted to share this with you. Now, my particular web page here has a little issues here on, on bringing this out here. Let me see if I can stretch this article and uh, it's where you can see it on the page without missing it. There's part of the article here that, uh, that does not come out very clearly here. So let me just pull this together for you. So you guys are able to see this a little bit better here. This is the Ten Commandments uh, that the Vatican's website, that's at www.vatican.va, uh, that they are sharing here, uh, showing here. And uh, uh, this, by the way, happens to be a very clear fulfillment of Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, which I'll share that with you here in just a minute as well. Uh, but it says here, they have, they have basically, to give, you, to give this to you in a nutshell, they have totally done away with the second commandment, and they have taken, uh, as you can see here, and, and there again, you guys may not be able to see it too well there on, on uh, live stream, because I know that the quality of the, uh, of the way this is, is doing is not as good as what it should be. Uh, but they're, they're taking the last commandment, the 10th commandment, and they're splitting that into two different commandments, saying you shall not covet your neighbor's wife as one of the commandments, and you shall not covet your neighbor's goods as a 10th commandment. That would be the 9th and 10th, where that is actually the 10th commandment according to the book of Exodus. Now, let's take a look at what they took out here. When we go to the first commandment, we read here in Exodus, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Okay? And, uh, and you shall have no other gods before me. Uh, is is the is the actually the first commandment and uh, according to Deuteronomy uh, five six, chapter five verse six to twenty one where the commandments are at it says I am the Lord your God who brought you out of e out of the land of Egypt uh, out of the house of bondage and uh, but it's the first commandment is thou shalt have no other gods before me all right now they stated in here in the new traditional catechal formula this is their new ten commandments. Their first commandment is, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. So you could have other gods, but just not strange gods. It's kind of interesting the way they word that there. Now the second commandment, which is very prominent in every Ten Commandment little monument that people might have, is the simplicity of it that says, you shall not make for yourselves a graven image. That is the second commandment according to the book of Exodus. See, uh, now they have taken and they have on their, for their second commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, totally doing away with the graven images. Why? Because the, the Catholic Church is absolutely full of graven images. It is the most idolatrous religion on planet Earth, is the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, according to Daniel uh, chapter 7, verse 25, and this is right here where we're dealing with the, uh, the, the covenants here. Uh, let, me, let me bring that up for you here. Uh, if you just bear with me one second here. It's kind of a little bit difficult to actually multitask this at the same time, but I'd like to share this with you guys. 
Um, so let's go to uh, the Mamre uh, Bible, and we will pull this up uh, for you guys here. Let me just uh, see if I can get that for you here. Just as again, just bear with me just one second here. Um, all right, Mamre. Um, the Hebrew English Bible there, I wanted to bring this up like that for you here. And this is, uh, we're going to Daniel, to Daniel's prophecy here. Uh, Daniel is, is not considered one of the prophets the way they have it laid out in here, but that's, that's all right. We know that he is. Daniel chapter uh, 7 and verse 25. Let me open that up for you guys where you guys can see this as well. You go down here to, let's read verse 24. And as for the ten horns out of, his, out of this kingdom, shall ten kings arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the former, and he shall put down three kings. Then it says, and he shall speak words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and shall think to change the seasons and the law. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and half of time. Now, I just shared with you uh, how he is actually changing the Ten Commandments. But if you would like to see the seasons and times, he did this in the Ten Commandments as of well. As of, as of well. Actually, what should be considered the Fourth Commandment, which is the Sabbath, he changes this one completely too, where it says, according to Deuteronomy, observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh, according to the book of Exodus, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor. And then God explains what the Sabbath is and how to keep it. But according to their commandment, which is now the third commandment, no longer the fourth commandment, they did away with the graven images, but they have on there, remember to keep the ho holy the Lord's day no longer the Sabbath day. Well, that way the Catholic Church can change times and the laws. So, I mean, you know, guys, I am amazed. You know, first he, he breaks headline news. Pope, the Pope of Rome breaks the headline news and, and, and drinks on the mountain of God right there. According to Obadiah's prophecy, he said that they will drink upon my holy mountain, masculine plural Hebrew right there. Then he goes on and he, it says, they shall continue to drink all the goim, the nations, which that's the different groups that support the Vatican. And they have continually drank upon God's holy mountain, Mount Zion. By the way, some of you that would not agree that Mount Zion is God's holy mountain, it's written, by the way, in uh, Obadiah, that is Mount Zion is a holy mountain, according to Obadiah's prophecy, as well as the Dead Sea Scrolls. There were three things that were very important to the, to, to the people, that are the writers of the Dead Sea Scrolls. And by the way, Mount Zion place, holy place, was considered very important. And Mount Zion was considered to be that sacred spot for those that wrote the, the, uh, the, the particular commandments there. Uh, so anyway, very, very interesting to say the least there. Again, let's take and uh, look at that here again. Remember to keep the, the holy, the Lord's day. Uh, he does keep honor your father and mother the same. You shall not kill. He has the same, at least in English. You shall not commit adultery. He keeps the same. You shall not steal. He keeps the same. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Uh, again, but they're completely out of order from what Moses actually wrote there. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> And we're already seeing now with the European Union, the, the, the United Nations, everything coming against Israel. Uh, and by the way, I just heard about some breaking news too that Palestinians have killed uh, several other people or there was an attack in uh, uh, Israel again on some more Israelis there. Uh, you probably won't see much outcry by Ban Ki-moon about that. Uh, I guess, well, we won't even go there as far as Ban Ki-moon goes. But, uh, but nonetheless, uh, very disheartening to hear this news there. You can catch that on Israel National News. Uh, but alarming to see this prophecy being fulfilled as we speak. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. Good evening. Share this video everywhere you get. And if God lays it upon your heart, we need your help in supporting this ministry to get these messages to you. Also, keep in uh, uh, prayer for us about the meeting. 
with Brother Kellen Davison that'll be in September, September 16th through the 18th. The conference is listed on Israeli News Live. You can see it there. Uh, reconciliationwithisrael.com is the website itself, www.reconciliationwithisrael.com. Please check that site out. Register if you're planning on attending. There is limited seating there. Uh, there will be many Orthodox Jews that will be in attendance at this meeting as well as believers from different parts of the world. Uh, again, if you want to support this ministry or this news broadcast, you can go to israelinewslive.org. You can uh, donate there or israelreturns.com. Shalom and good evening. God bless you.